How did I get in this hospital bed? Can't see a thing. My leg's missing. What are all these tubes? <sighs> what am I gonna do? My name's Corey Reed. Come ride with me. I was looking for something to take my boarding to the next level. I met Blair Doolittle with Watt Bike, and he asked me if I heard of CrossFit. I told him no, and he said, cool, I got some people I want to introduce you to. Next thing I knew, I was down in Santa Monica, meeting coach Kenny Kane. As Kenny Kane shows me around the gym and gives me a rundown of what CrossFit is, I explained to him what my limitations are as an adaptive athlete, and not to freak out if my leg flies off during the workout. All I kept hearing was how intense CrossFit was. It's so intense. And in my head, I'm like, how hard could this be? I definitely knew there was something to that though. These people were serious. The camaraderie was there. The community was there, the energy. As I was sitting there rolling out, I just couldn't wait to see what this workout was gonna consist of. Everybody kept coming up. Corey, are you ready for the wad? Are you ready for the wad, Corey? I'm sitting there like, what the heck is the wad? Well, I soon found out what the wad was. Up here riding with the locals at Bass Lake. Hit a sesh last night, evening session. It was pretty good. Supposedly the locals have a spot we're gonna go check out today. Uh, about 30 miles from Bass Lake, so that's what we're doing right now. I'm just getting ready to hit it up. My passion for boarding started at 13. I remember my dad bought me my first surfboard, and I was so stoked, and I just knew that. That's who I was. I found so much identity with it. You know, if it's surfing, snowboarding, wakeboarding, you know, all those sports are, are done in the outdoors and in nature, and that's another thing that attracts me to boarding. Mind if I get a quick test? Yeah, that's fine. Surfing. One of my favorite things is to be chilling on a boat, and there's just, that's so relaxing to me. Um, and to put that with boarding, uh, there's nothing better. There's no better feeling. One of my favorite things to do when I hit new lakes up is to seek out the locals, find the guys that like to ride and like to ride hard. And this is what we did up in Bass Lake. We found some of the local shredders and went and hit up a sesh with them.
After my accident, a lot of things changed for me as a writer. I didn't know the first thing about high performance prosthetics. First time I got up on a wakeboard and I remember just jumping in and telling them to hit it and I popped right up and I was all squirrely and get back on the boat and start making adjustments to my prosthetics and we're using duct tape and we're just doing everything we can to just make this work. Um, and riding as an amputee, you just can't turn to your friend and be like, yo, how's your, how's your prosthetic work on that? You know, you have any suggestions? So it was a constant trial and error for me in the beginning. Uh, but once I met some other fellow adaptive riders and was hooked with the right people and had a high performance prosthetic built, it just took my boarding to another level. And I'll never forget the feeling that I had when that board was back under me. And that passion was reignited. Game time. We're here, man. I'm in my element. Beautiful lake up here. Beautiful weather. Beautiful water. Got the boo ready to tow. Ready. ready. Riding blind is a trip. That was a whole new experience going out. It's one thing riding as an amputee and having a piece of equipment that, you know, you can basically mimic your leg and essentially it's gonna work the same way that your other one did, but having no vision when you're riding is a completely different experience. Um, instead of scoping your lines out and looking ahead at where you wanna hit, it becomes all reaction under your feet. Um, so, at times it can be pretty gnarly when you catch an edge and you're reminded of how fast you are going. It can hurt pretty bad. But one thing that I found is once I was able to relax and just feel what's underneath me and what's going on under that board, that's when boarding came back. There's, there's no feeling like a hard heel side cut or a hard toe side cut rocking back and forth. and flying across the wake. There's just no feeling like it. That's Ride With Core.